Day 32. No. Day 34. Whew. Y'all, I can't. I can't be keeping track of time. Here. I am 16 miles away from Hanover, New Hampshire. And that marks the end of New Hampshire for me. So I will finish New Hampshire today. Woohoo! Second state down. Dartmouth is there and they apparently allow through hikers to come into their cafeteria. Like 15 bucks all you can eat. So I might do that for dinner. <laughs> we'll see. This is, this is why I'm not losing weight on this trail, y'all. <laughs> it is too easy to eat food out here. PCT starves you. Even though it's raining right now, it has been so dry in Maine and New Hampshire. Um, a lot of the reliable streams are puddles or dry completely. And folks are having to do longer water carries than are usual for the AT. Um, still like no, carry three liters instead of one or one and a half. Um, there was a guy that carried four. Uh, yeah. And so somebody left a water cache here about three miles away from the shelter that I was at because the next kind of reliable source is in another five. Um, so eight miles total which for a lot of folks on the AT, that is their day, right? Um, so yeah, getting into water caches. Look at that little dude. I almost stepped on him. There's a leaf for reference. So the forest here is so green lots of grasses and it's all wet because it just rained and it smells so good like like a tea that I've had before but I can't place it oh I wish I could bottle this up and send it to everyone because oh it is so so magnificent of a smell Hey all so I did not stay long in Hanover. I got off the trail and it immediately puts you out onto the sports field where there was a soccer thing going on. Then you walk into town and you road walk for a few miles and it was just chaos. There were <laughs> so many people and a ton of traffic and I was just like, no, I can't, I can't even think about what to do next um so I found a little Thai food place grabbed some Thai food and then came up walked across the river so I am now in Vermont and went to a hotel in Norwich Vermont um, which is very cute and I guess I'm platinum blazing tonight um, and hopefully will dry out my gear it's my tent has been soaking wet for the past two days. Um, there was not a good time to dry it out yesterday and then I made camp and it was still wet and the inside of my tent's wet and my entire rain fly is wet. 
Um, and then it started pouring rain last night and just the impact of the rain on the outside of my rain fly made all of the water on the inside rain down on me. Um, so it was kind of like a mini rainstorm <laughs> inside of my tent. Uh, and then today everything was so damp um, and there wasn't really a great spot to lay out in the sun um, and dry my gear. So I am going to use this nice hotel room to dry out my gear. Okay, I took a shower and now I have hung my rain fly, my tent. Oops. Sorry, the fan's pretty loud. And my ground sheet. And yes, the floor is dirty. Don't worry, mom. I am tipping the housekeeper. <laughs> I am trashing this place. Um, <laughs> I apologize if there's a broom in here, I would pre-sweep. But there we are, drying out my gear.